Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can import list data into QuickBooks using Microsoft Excel. You can also easily copy and paste data from an Excel workbook into lists within your company file without having to perform an import. To see how you can perform this task, please review Lesson 3.11, Adding Multiple List Entries from Excel. In addition to being able to copy and paste Excel data, you can also perform an advanced importing of Excel data into your QuickBooks lists. To import information from an Excel workbook into QuickBooks Customer, Vendor, Item or Account lists, select File, Utilities, Import, Excel Files from the menu bar. In the window that appears, click the Advanced Import button. On the Setup Import tab, click the Browse button at the right end of the File text box to launch a dialog box where you can select the Excel file to import. Then select the sheet in the workbook from which to import the data by using the drop-down below the file name. If the data you are importing has column labels, check the This Data File Has Header Rows checkbox to use the topmost row of data in the selected sheet as a header. In the Data Mapping section, you must tell QuickBooks which columns in the Excel file should be imported into which fields in the QuickBooks list. Click the Add New Choice from the Choose a Mapping drop-down to create a new data mapping for the Excel data, and launch the Mappings dialog box. Type a name for the new data mapping into the Mapping Name field. Select into which list you want to import the data from the Import Type drop-down. When you do this, the available fields in the list will appear in the left column. For each piece of data that has a match in your Excel import file, Click into the right column and select the name of the Excel column if your list has headers to which the data corresponds. When finished, click the Save button to save the data mapping. To preview the data before importing, Click the Preview button to view the data as it will look when imported, along with any errors that would occur if the data was imported. At the bottom of this window, you can select how you want QuickBooks to handle imported rows that cause errors. When the data looks good, click the Import button to import the data. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.